Hello everyone, my name is Erin. I am the creator of Photography Design, and that's my lettering account, and also FD Plans, which is my bullet journal account. So I'm gonna do something a little different. Um, I've, I've wanted to do this for a while, where I did a monthly review and then a plan with me video, but I always get really nervous or I forget to do it and then I don't um, do it in time to plan for July um, or for the next month. So I'm going to do it now. So I am using a Scribbles That Matter journal. Um, I have to say I have played with a lot of journals um, one thing that I love about Scribbles is that they are so in touch with their customers. They are always reaching out. Um, right now, I will put this link in the um, in the description box. They are getting some feedback on their pastel line that they're going to be releasing in the next month or two. Is is what I've seen on their account. Um, I personally cannot wait. I will be buying the mint pastel probably in pro versus their um, iconic version. Um, I, I just want to switch it up and see how, how the pro version is. Um, so I will be buying that the second it comes out, I'm sure. So I just want to give that little shout out to Scribbles. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you what I did in June. And then I will go into planning for July. So let's get there. So this was my June monthly spread. I like to keep it very um, clean, very minimalist with um, just a simple, <laughs> what are the days, the, the calendar, and then a tracker. Um, I usually do a single slash if if I do one of the two activities um, and I or I, I like kind of half complete of um, activity and then I do the full hash sign um, if I do both of the activities so that that's a little tidbit there um, you can see I've kind of failed on listings and Pinterest this month it's it's just been a crazy month at work um, and I have been on a big strength training kick um, for the last few months I've been focusing on a lot of cardio type things so I want to try and figure out how strength training is changing my body so I did full body measurements including bust chest waist hips midway which is between um, your hips and your waist thighs knees calves biceps forearms my total weight and my total body fat percentage so I'll be doing um, next week at, or at the end of this week I will be um, doing measurements to see how it compares and I want to so I use this um, focus page I like to call it so this is what I'm focusing on um, it, I'm not trying to do it every day that is not good for your body to do the same types of exercises every day so it's just to kind of keep it in mind like hey you know you, you have an interest in doing um, more glute based exercises or more squats or um, things like that so so that's what this spread is about and then I get into my weekly pages so I like to use um, a pretty minimalist weekly in terms of my days and then I get a little bit more detail between my meal plan and my workout um, you'll see this all the time my weekends I just tend not to care and I always put it there hoping that I'm going to care and, and address it but I don't um, I kinda like to leave my mind for the weekend and have a little bit of little bit of a break so usually Monday through Friday is pretty well filled out and then Saturday and Sunday you'll see it over and over again it's not very well filled out um, I posted this to my Instagram account um, on my FD plans Instagram account so what I've been trying to do and I saw this on the rising tide and I really I did not screenshot who said it um, I'm going to have to go back and, and give credit because I really love this organization and layout to kind of make a more cohesive Instagram feed. So 
it's based on rotating four types or um, four categories of photos. So you see I've, um, I've created a color scheme here to give myself um, give myself a way to track which ones I'm using. I also use um, the Planoly app to help me plan out my posts and I'll show that in my feed as well and I'll link it I'll link the app down in the description. Um, so I kind of played with a, a couple different ideas. Should I do it based on color? And then I was like, okay, well, color is not really going to work because I love my Tombos and there's 96 of them. So I can't exactly do a four, um, a four panel spread with 96 colors, not to mention, you know, I've, I've been diving more into watercolors and things like that. So that's not really going to work. Um, but I did decide to do it for one of mine where I do like a seasonal color trend. So um, this month will probably be a lot of uh, blue and reds um, because as you can see that is what I'm going to be making my July for my bullet journal. Very patriotic. Um, uh, fits, fits in with the theme for Independence Day. So you'll probably be seeing a lot of that every four days. Um, I do my Tombow ones because, as I said, I love, love, love my Tombow markers. Um, I, I like to post videos um, consistently. I'm going to be posting videos, and this is going to kind of um, be all types of media, whether it be um, Tombow or watercolor or things or digital, things like that. So I'll be posting videos, and then obviously my watercolor and craft because I am in love with it right now. Um, so you'll be, you'll be seeing a lot of that. Um, and I use this method over here to track, um, the type I'm posting. I usually post one to two a day. Apparently I did three at one point and then what the prompt was. Um, so that is over on my photography design lettering account. Um, <laughs> I clearly haven't, um, and as you can see, both in my Etsy trends and, and program and in my tracker. I have not been doing a great job Etsy wise. Um, so I'm going to have to tag this, um, maybe uh, put a paper clip down and, and really get to work on, <laughs> on revamping my Etsy. Um, I'm also doing um, kind of more of a focused um, this is very loose for me because I already have a pretty established strength training program. So these are more of, oh, if I want to do some circuit training, these are some good ways to do it. And that's from Bikini Body Guide. Again, I will link in my description. Um, and I haven't been doing a great job of filling that out either. Um, so this is this last week. Oh, which, again, you see that I avoid the weekends sometimes. Um, in this case, it was because my dad was in town uh, for Father's Day. So that was a great surprise, and we took him to a Mets game, as you can see. Um, so again, it's another weekly. Another weekly that's this week, so I haven't filled out. And I am planning, <laughs> I am filming this on... Saturday, so I am planning to fill it out this weekend, and I will probably write it down a hundred times, convincing myself to do that. Um, and I also left my um, Pentel Pentel flares um, at work, so I did not have that when I was making this spread. So that's why there's a lack of color. Um, and then this will be next week's weekly. I think my plan going forward will be um, maybe to do some more dailies. I've wanted to go th with dailies for a while, um, but I kind of like this layout and only having to go to one page. So I'm, I'm still on the fence whether I'm going to do that or not. So you guys will find out. Um, obviously I thought June had 31 days for a, a hot second and ended in July 1st. It ends July 2nd for me, because um, I do Monday through Sunday. Um, then I like to do this June review. 
um, things that happened in my life, um, different types of, um, like these are my following numbers and how many uh, listings I had. Um, I had a bit of a scare where I had a cyst rupture, so that wasn't exactly fun. Um, my plan was to do a new focus on listings. Probably going to put an arrow over because I did not do that. But I did I did do it towards the um, early part of this week. Um, I, I went to a Mets game, all of that. And I will link to who originally posted this. Um, I did... I've been doing this the last couple months because I really like this. Um, currently I am reading, watching, trying, etc. different types of things. Um, so I really like to compare that to my previous month where like what, what, what are new things that are happening. Um, so I, I like to compare and contrast between the new months. All right, well I am going to get started on my July so bear with me and we will make this happen. So again, I'm going to keep with this pretty simple theme. I'll, I'll probably add some things around it. Um, maybe a border like I did last month. Um, that seemed to work out pretty well. Um, I put my new listing in Pinterest up on top because I failed. I failed last month at doing it. So I really want to um, try and focus on it. And maybe if it's on the top, I will. Um, well, here's to hoping at least. Um, I'm going to do my Instagram tracker again until I get pretty um, comfortable with how um, how that layout is. For my mood tracker, which I haven't done a mood tracker before, but I've seen the posts. I love the colors. I love the concept. Um, I just didn't really think I would go back and do it. So my plan this month is to do fireworks. Um, and I organized it by... Um, the day of the week because I'm kind of interested to see what mood is more associated with the the day of the week. So I'm really interested in that. I actually saw that um, on Instagram. I'll have to find the account and I'll link it below um, where I where I originally saw that. And so I'm I'm just gonna like do little shoot offs here um, for the day of the week and maybe like put a number for the day so I know. Um, who knows? Uh, I'll be a little bit more fluid because I've never done a mood tracker before. But I like the idea of doing a firework mood tracker, so that's my plan there. Um, I'm going to continue doing those body measurements. I'll take the body measurements that I get here and I'll put them at the start. Um, I might want to change um, the way I have it 
laid out because this is a little um, compact. So I left this blank so I can play around with a few ideas. Um, my targeted area this month is going to be my triceps. So I'm going to do the same thing where I just have um, have a have a bar to track if I did something regarding triceps or not. Um, and then I'm going to go into my weekly, maybe my daily. I'm, again, I'm still trying to figure it out. Um, and just to go, it, it just goes to show you if you do bullet journaling, you kind of have to take things with a little bit of ease. And that's actually helped me in terms of like some anxiety and stuff like that. Because if you look at my new month, even though I said it, just before when I was talking about um, this that I, I was like oh it's uh, it ends on July 1st um, no so I got the days totally wrong apparently I, I really want July 1st to start on a Sunday so I totally messed that up um, I uh, instead of going through and trying to figure out how to cover this up in, a, in an effective way I just <laughs> turn the page and just go with it, right? So, um, everyone messes up and it's okay. Luckily in a bullet journal, you can just turn the, turn to the next page and it'll work for you. Um, so thank you for joining me for my review and my new month. Um, I really look forward to trying out this mood tracker for one. I look forward to seeing all of your posts and thank you so much. I'll see you next month.